Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Dynamo video. We are talking about the NFL Sunday Night Football first game, Giants and Cowboys. And we have five really good picks for you guys in this one, as always. And if you didn't watch the Sunday video for all the Sunday games, and those games haven't started yet, uh, definitely check that one out after this video. Also get in the Discord. You'd see people definitely winning big on prize picks over here in the Discord. And a ton of people talking about college football and NFL over here. And it's free to join. So that'll be linked down below. Definitely check out the Discord for the first pick here. Kind of a cop-out, but if you're playing this game, there's no way that you can avoid taking Dak Prescott over the half yard so I apologize for this being one of the five picks we're going to give you guys but can't avoid it and I feel bad giving another DAC pick that's not going to be this one so have to just lock this one in right now and then we're going to go to his guy CD Lamb obviously there's not going to be any correlation here because DAC is for sure going to hit that so we got CD Lamb six catches he was at five and a half so if he goes back down to five and a half definitely would like this one, but I'm taking the over at six still. I think he's going to be in a good spot and absolutely was a target monster last season against the Giants. They could not really figure him out. You can see CeeDee Lamb over here, 12 targets, eight catches in the first game. In the second game, 11 targets and six catches. And actually, now that they bumped this one to, to six instead of five and a half, I'm actually going to switch this up and go to the targets here. So you can see he had 12 and 11. It's going to be a target monster all year. Nine seems like a pretty fair one here. So unless this goes down to five and a half on the catches, I'm going to be taking the targets here at nine. That one seems better to me due to that change. And then we're going to go to a guy here, Micah Parsons, who on the tackle for loss at one flat, I think is pretty safe to go on the under. I mean, if we look if we look at his game log, tackle for loss over here is going to be right here, TFL. He had one, two, three games with more than one tackle for loss. And, you know, it looks like around eight games with zero tackles for loss. And they have been talks about him playing kind of more linebacker than pass rusher as well so that I think maybe hurt him a little even more on this because he's going to be dropping back in some coverage maybe a little bit more this season but only 13 tackle for losses on the year in 17 games last season and like I said only three games out of those 17 he had more than one so I think at one flat this one's going to be a pretty safe one here and statistically just would make a lot of sense to be playing this one, even if you do believe in Parsons to get more than one tackle for loss. It's just statistically not going to happen that much uh, that we saw last year. And, you know, even all like half the games, it was at zero. So pretty good chance of going under, but a really good chance of at least pushing. So we would take a push, especially just talking about one game here uh, for something that safe. So, weird right now that prize picks doesn't have any giants props up i just typed in giants so we're gonna have to come over to thrive to get our giants picks in and hopefully there'll be similar numbers over on prize picks when the giants lines come out but if you're not on thrive it's essentially exactly like prize picks but you're gonna get 100 percent deposit match up to 250 bucks also if you deposit at least 25 you're gonna get a free bonus which is a free square on your first prop as well so you might as well play over here regardless and they have giants props up the first one that sticks out to me is going to be daniel jones on the rush yards at 35 and a half and i would be taking the under on that i would assume on price picks he's going to come in a lot lower checking it out on odds jam all these other lines fanduel has this one at 31 and a half so definitely some savings here. I would think it's going to come in lower on prize picks when it eventually does come over. Thrive has it at 35 and a half. I think they're going to run Daniel Jones less than they did last year because, you know, he's now a one of the top paid players in the league. So they definitely want to protect him. But last year, it's like 
over half the games. I think nine, I'd counted him up, nine out of 16 games he went under that yardage total rushing. And the second game against the Cowboys, he only got three carries because they did burn him, burn the Cowboys uh, in the first game when Daniel Jones got 79 rushing yards. So they really were taking note and watching Daniel Jones there. You know, they could even put Parsons on some kind of quarterback spy on Daniel Jones because he did hurt him rushing in their first game last year. So I like that one as well. I think you're going to get good savings on Daniel Jones. And then I'm going to go to Saquon on the rush yards over 64 and a half. Looking at Saquon, you know, pretty low number here for Saquon. And against Dallas, his first game, 81 rush yards. Second game, didn't get that many carries, only 11, and went on the under. But I think we're going to have a big Saquon game here. I think they're going to give him a lot of carries against Dallas here in the opening week and kind of try to pound them on the ground. And Saquon looks like a pretty good one. Again, we could check out we could check out Odds Jam. FanDuel has him at 65 and a half, so tiny bit of savings on Saquon. So taking these on Thrive for now. Apologize that that uh, Price Picks doesn't have Giants lines up, but I think they're going to be pretty similar. So you can go ahead and lock those ones in as well. So if you guys are new here, definitely get in the Discord. It'll be linked down below. Also check out Thrive. You know you're going to get all that free money to play with, and it's essentially the same as Price Picks, but I think. They have even more favorable lines, and actually their payouts are slightly higher by 0.2x. So you'll get a little bit of bonus there and a free square. So let's do a quick recap. We got Saquon over on the rush yards in this game. I think he's absolutely going to just pound the Cowboys here. Daniel Jones on the under more than he did last year, went under this total, and I think they're just going to run him less, and the Cowboys are definitely looking for that. Continuing our picks over here, we got Michael Parsons under the tackle for loss. Again, we went over all those stats. It just really makes sense statistically that he would be going under on this. But, you know, anything could happen, but really does not seem that likely. Then C.D. Lamb, we actually like him on the targets here at 9. Had 12 and 11 in the two games against Dallas in the last game. And then you have to take Dak on over a half a pass yard in just one game, you know, talking about all these picks had to go with that one so hope you guys enjoyed this if you did subscribe to the channel check out the sunday video if you're watching this one before those games have started otherwise subscribe to the channel get in the discord i'll see you over there